Um, hey guys, sorry for the long wait for like a live video, like, boo, like that. Um, today, uh, for Easter, my parents bought me, uh, Sega Master System. They tried to cover it up with duct tape, but it says it right there, and got it from good old Destiny Games, a awesome game store I happen to live by. Um, my crap, um. So, this is my first, uh, like, unboxing. It's not the actual box, but it's in the box. I haven't taken it out or opened it. I just looked at it. But, uh, I guess I'll show you the system, and I will hook it up and show you the gameplay. So, let's open this box. Alright, here it is. Um. So, let's see what we have here. Hang on, I'm going to go to the floor. Hang on, cut you guys out for a second. Okay, sorry about that, like, ten, five second go delay, but uh, it's easier for me to do this on the floor. Well, first of all, you have the master system itself, the so Model 1, Sega, uh, master system, power base, it's hard to read on my camera, it's not an HD camera, that would be cool to get one though, uh, I'll show you the system stuff later though. Uh, right here we have the the power adapter, the AC adapter, so you can plug it into the wall. Best system ever. Anyway, um, then we have the oh, hang on. then we have the RCA cables. Looks like it's just in mono and video, not stereo, which is perfectly fine with me. Although. You can probably find a way to get it in stereo. Uh, then there's the part that goes in the master system. Then right here, it goes into your TV, obviously. I'm going to plug it into that VCR right there. Which is the same VCR I watch Godzilla movies on. Yeah, I'm old school. I like VCRs better than DVDs, but that's just me. So, there's that. And then right here, we have... The controller it came packaged with. Uh, here's the deep control pad, not the D pad, but it really is a D pad. Compared to the NES D pad, it's very similar, actually. Yeah, I got Castlevania 3 in the retro. It's my NES, but um, they're very, they're very similar. Um, there's only one difference: the Sega Master System controller doesn't have a select and a start button. It has the one button is the pause, and this and the master system itself has a pause button on it. The D pad is a little different. This one's more like outverted, like a traditional one. This one's like inverted with a little grip, I guess, as you can see. It's got a little more of a grip. Sega Nintendo. So, I guess you can say the master system almost copied off the NES because. The Master System came out in 86, a year after the NES, so, but I like the NES controller better, I just do, I, I like the feel better, but this one feels very nice still, it's, base, it's, it's exactly the same size though, if you want a size comparison, and to, uh, uh, um, I don't know, uh, a size comparison to the X, the original Xbox. That's how big the controller is, if you guys are wondering. Um, okay. Got that controller in there, and then we have another one. A separate one of my parents was the bot. And that's the same thing, just in wrapping. Okay. And then, uh, we got the master system itself, which is very light, actually. I'm gonna take off the wrapping, though. You get to see this live. Me taking off the wrapping. I love taking off the wrapping for the first time. Okay. Here it goes. Oh, get off. Okay. Yeah. Love it. Alright, that's all the wrapping. Sorry for my bad camera work. 
Um, uh, here's the system itself. Right here. Um, Sega Master System Power Base. You can read it a little better. Um, let's go start off on the back. He ha looks like vents on the back. And then the AV out, which is where this plugs in for your video, for your audio video. Some that yeah, plugs into there. Um, channel three, channel four. You can change the channel. The AC adapter, which is this, plugs in right there, and the RF out. I think so. You can have stereo on the bottom. You have that, which I have no idea what that is, but, um, back in there, um, I have no idea what that is, you can see in the comments if you know, not that that's in the game's label, Sega Master, Sega Master Power Base, okay, I wonder if that's Sega number right there, still, Sega Customer Service Department, I'm about to call that number. Um, here's the front of the system. The power button is right here. Your two controller ports, which are the same as an Atari 2600, 7800, and Genesis controller. So you can interchange those if you don't like the Master System controller. Um, a card input. Okay. And then this kind of shows you how it works. The cartridge. And the card go on the power on and the controller one the controller two and the tv system that's kind of cool i guess uh reset button right here um pause button and then cartridge input where you put a game cartridge and it, by the looks of it i think they got two games with it yep i did one's called go Golvelius. okay Open that up. Interesting name. Oh. Open up. Oh. A lot easier to do this with two hands. Just to let you know. Oh. Alright. Okay. There's the Glebius. That's its name. And it just. It goes in very nicely, I would say. But the N64 cartridges are a lot easier to take in and out. That's the easiest system, I would say, that I know of. But it is very nice to take out the cartridge and put it in. Very nice. Cartridges don't have any art on them, which is kind of a downfall because the NES cartridge did. Like, that's Dracula's Curse right there. It has artwork on it. And then the other game... Uh, Wonder Boy 3 to Dragon's Trap. I'll just keep that one sealed. I guess I'll hook it up now and show you some gameplay. I will be back, guys. Alright, guys. I got the Sega Master System hooked up on top of this VCR. As you can see, the, R the RC cables are in the back. The RCA cables, my bad, are right there. AC adapter. I hate these things. That fat AC adapter is right there. I had to move two of my plugs, which was booty. And then I got a controller plugged in. And I got my little homemade tripod. Yeah, no. I got my Game Boy right there on my phone. So, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll show you the gameplay. I have both of the games I got with it. Um, Golivius, I believe it is, and let me see, Golvelius, Golvelius, and then Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap. Let's try out Golivius first. Put it in the cartridge slot, turn the power button on, but first let me put you guys on my little homemade tripod. There we go, and power on. And here's Glibius. I'm gonna play through the camera so I got your guys' view. Okay, I'm gonna turn the volume up. Okay. Alright. 
Let's play. Um, last game continue, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's the top. All right, here it goes. Thou art heading. It looks like a Legend of Zelda type of game. Uh, here's the sword. Little thing is the sword. Jump up. Oh, hang on, let me close the blinds very fast. I will be go real quick. Pause button. It's on the system. It's a little bit of a pain, but whatever. Okay. Now the television quality should be a little bit better. Uh, Alright, let's go. Oh fudge. Okay. okay. Keep playing. Yeah, eat it, snake. It is very much like a Zelda game. It's a lot like Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, because it's a side-scroller. I don't know what that is. Um, it's got good graphics, though. It's 19, released in 1988. Um, Alright, let's check out the other game. Uh, Wonder Boy 3. Alright, let's check out Wonder Boy 3. Now. Say, uh, Master Sephal. Yeah, alright. Push start button, which is either button. Uh, continue. Oh, poo poo. And. <laughs> oh, what the booty? I already. Oh, reset. Alright, that's just a new game. Whatever. For you is the monster castle. Is the dreaded dragon's room. Okay. But under the fact that the dragon has the power to invoke curses on his enemies. Okay. Another Legend of Zelda type game. Very easy. You just hit snakes. Hit the crap out of slime snake things. The booty. Oh. Booty, no one likes you. Uh, nice controls on both of these games. Although I want to say the jumping's a little delayed, but it's alright. It's like half a second. Okay, I fell in the pit. Oh, I'm supposed to go down there? Alright. Oh, I'm screwed. Look. Oh, what the booty? What did I ever do to you, bird? But, yeah, this is the Master System gameplay. It looks okay, but then Nintendo killed it. Beat it. It beat its butt. So, what's this? I don't know what that is. Um, so yeah, it's the Sega Master System, you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.